Well, hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to OLC TV for some more A World Betrayed DLC for Total War Three Kingdoms as Gongsun's and with the Radius mod enabled. So, in the uh, previous episode, uh, Zushia's army was unfortunately defeated. Uh, we did manage to do serious damage to Sun Tzu's armies. And you see that Sun Tzu's armies now have had to fall all the way back to Guanling, and they're not in good shape. But Zushia's army was wiped out, and they're now... I mean, everyone survived, there's no major injuries, um, he's one-eyed, so, you know, who gives a toss, that works for me. Um, she's fine, and uh, she's fine. So, we didn't actually lose too much because of it, they can reform here, which is good for going for uh, Liu Bei later, <clears throat> because he has a very, very good army, as you can see here. Now, um, other things happening, uh, we have taken Guanling uh, town, city, uh, which is, I mean, it's nice and all, but um, Sun Tzu still has Guanling Trade Port and has uh, Shindu here. Well, like, whether he has more armies than this knocking about down here, um, we don't know, but we can assume so. He's always managed to pump out armies, but we have seen his main armies defeated. Tian Kai and Yan Feng are heading there. I'm hoping that they will be able to take uh, the Trade Port without me having to go for it. Um, over here against the yellow turbans, we've pretty much pushed them back now. Uh, now it's just a case of, of swarming forward um, and dealing with them. These guys are going to go to Hoguan, I think. I think we can afford to chuck some cash at this. Let's look Farmstead or let's look State. Uh, do that one. For the fun of it. <clears throat> um, right. Now he has a bugged out commander there. I've got my own one of those. Uh, right. So what we're going to do first. Is you're heading off towards Poyang Copper Mine. Um, we're going to start out. I know you can beat them on your own. You have a very strong army there. Tian Chou has a very, very strong army. Uh, but we're going to shift others to support as well just because we can and because there's a number of armies nearby so we want to lose as few troops as possible um, and uh, just navigate this nice leather of the fire phoenix and a family spear well that's interesting um, yeah we need this because otherwise you are not wonderful. Uh, has to be stated. You can have the one. Um, no, we have nothing additional. Uh, you've got a pretty good spear as it stands. Uh, have a look at your army. You've got an axe. You we have nothing we can give you, unfortunately. Um, yeah, nothing at all. Is a shame. <clears throat> anyway, um, we have the Leather of the Fire Phoenix. Who might? Mm. Do you know what? I don't give a toss. I normally trade that out, but you can have that, and you can have that, so it makes you slightly more fighty. I reckon all of my vanguards have really good armor. Because, like, I don't know why, but I've just, like, yeah, yeah, definitely. Oh, well. Um, not that fast about it, then. Uh, this copper mine can go up. Uh, we'll work out those later. Um, <clears throat> now, we have Jan'an here. I have no direct way to it except from here. Ooh, that leaves Hoguan sort of untouchable because these guys have to go up and round and I want them to march towards Shindu. Okay, so these guys are going to head up here towards the weapon craftsman. Um, we'll just delegate that. She, ooh, she has problems. Um... <laughs> Yeah, you get that sometimes with the mods. Um, as you can see, like mostly this mod is absolutely fine, but every now and again, 
Actually, I don't know. I'm blaming that on the mod, but it may not be. Because um, I have seen a similar thing on the... Oh, did find Raymond as well. On the um, Mandate of uh, Heaven DLC. Okay, yeah, can have that. Um, right. Zhang He. Do you want better armor? Just in every way better. There. There we go. Right. You're going to shift up here. Gong Sun Shu. Yeah, okay. Right, you guys shift up here. And then we'll send the weaker armies down this way. Yeah, keep moving. Um, and similar job, keep moving. Uh, you guys as well. Move you as a block. <coughs> That'll give us a force to go and take Jenan. These chaps can then focus. Uh, moving over here. To and three don't think we need all of them so she can shift up this way and set an ambush there right that's that pretty well organized everything's all right there he can bounce across um in the near future no hurry uh You really don't need income. So let's just go for outright food because that allows us to upgrade our cities a little bit more. Uh, Ying Chuan as well. Nice. Um, Hone, about that. And Ding. Bohai. Bohai, nope. Zhongshan has farm. Farmstead. Dai is alright. Uh, your way ping can go up again. Yeah, she can also go up. And I reckon Dai can go up because we're going to have the food coming in. Um, <clears throat> we also have another reform, which gives us even more food. If I use it correctly. Uh, the other thing is I could. My string turns quite nice. Allow me to move my armies around. There's an extra army there to be had. Potentially as well. Um, don't really need those. Income from all sources would normally be nice, but we don't need it. That... That could be useful, though. I do like my sentinels. So, yeah. We'll head there. Um... Now, I think we just have a mass force here. <clears throat> Poor Jack can come here. These lads are here. Yeah, so we can move around that way. Okay. Yeah. So we've got that place prepared just in case we need to attack it. Then, down here, we've already smashed some armies. Everyone's in good position. You're replenishing there. That should be taken by them, unless they really cock it up. Hmm. Now, we do need to be worried, because there's been an empire formed between the Kingdom of Shuhan and uh, Sun Tzu. Sun Tzu is, is in real trouble. So, um, he's looking for friends anywhere he can get them. Uh, how many years till my family comes of age? 16, so it's, ugh. still some time. You're legendary already. I think this campaign may be over before we get to use them. Which sort of makes me trying to save people to marry. Uh, well, that's just a mistake by them. I was, I was saving people to marry off to... Uh, you know, famous generals and the like to bring them into the family, but 
Yeah. <laughs> I know in Mandate they come of age when they're 16, but in the other ones they come of age when they're 18. I find that a little bit strange. I'd rather they all came of age at 16 or all came of age at 18. I mean, personally, I'd rather they all came of age at 16 because you have... Some people like Shenzhen was, was leading... Um, you know, local provincial forces, not provincial, prefecture level forces in defense against bandits and stuff like that when he was 16, 17 years old. Um, I mean, he, yeah, he, he, he quite famously fought a few battles, um, certainly when he was 17 years old. I'd quite like them to come of age at 16, actually, just as a general rule. Um, <clears throat> I don't know why they have it split between 16 and 18 i guess i can ask and if you do know let me know why uh but i do find it slightly weird that it's just not consistent um i'm not overly fussed whether it fixes at 16 or 18 just uh 16 i think you get more more out of your your family members because even though this game is yep um even though this game is, uh, you know, much longer than most other Total Wars, including like Mortal Empires for, for Warhammer 2, um, I think the AI is superior to a lot of Total Wars. I wouldn't say it's the best, but it's, it's pretty good. Um, the game still doesn't... You don't go through generations. Like, the Three Kingdoms era lasted a long time. Um, I mean, it started in... in, in 220 really um when Talpi over uh, forced the abdication um of uh what was it 221 Tassar died in 220 myth well like around then 220 221 when Talpi forced the abdication of of um uh Lucien uh the final Han Empire uh, emperor but yeah you know uh you can't expect a game to force it to be that long and then for you to, you know, keep fighting till, what, 260, 280, um, at least. Uh, and then the usurpation of Jin just yet. You know, I would like to see it as they release these chapter packs and stuff like that. And I know we have stuff like the Nan Man campaign coming and the like. Um, so I am looking forward to seeing that. Exquisite weapon. I'm actually really looking to see stuff like the Naman campaign come in. And I would, you know, honestly, I would love just to make Gongsun do. Because Gongsun do, right? This is a slight deviation from the game for a second. Gongsun do should have uh, Liao Xi and Liao Dong. Okay, Liao Dong's here. And that's all now part of sort of the geographic area around Liao Ning province. He also should have Dong Lai. Okay. Um, that was his territory, uh, sort of circa 190, okay? And certainly by the time this game, like, I've forgotten when he started to lose Dong Lai, but that's much, much later on. Um, <clears throat> and so he should have that, and he should be warring with the North Korean tribes here, um, and the kingdoms of, of Korea. So I would really like to see them come in, and then of course the Nan Man down here on the map, just to fill out the edges. And more than anything, I would love to see more love given to people like the Xiongnu, who should be based around here-ish, uh, the Wuhan tribes along this border here, even if they're just like a, a periodic raiding threat, you know, or like a like an off-screen empire that you need to 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 pay tribute to to stop them raiding, you know, that type of thing. I would love it because. It's what happened, you know, and it would make it less about what was going on in China because these guys didn't just have to worry about the shitstorm that was kicking off in China, but also about the edges. I mean, they do the Chang pretty well, but the Chang were, you know, headed up by Han Sui and Ma Tung and later Ma Chao and others. Beigong Boyu, if you're going to do like the early stuff. So Liang province, you know, I think they do it all right. You can add extra factions in there by all means, but, you know, you have them, but you don't have any of the others like the Wuhan and the Shambay and stuff like that. I think they should be more love given to them. Right, enough of that. Be ranting about historical accuracy and the like. We've got three armies there to protect our borders. Uh, we're pushing up here, we're pushing down here. 
Uh, you chaps. Uh, why don't you can bugger off to Hogwan then? Just take it by yourself. The rest of you can come up this way instead. Um, right. Shift. Don't think you guys need to be in this mode anymore. Uh, yeah, everyone shift down here. You, my lady. Let's go. Smash him. Yeah, he's gonna run away. Uh, we can't really advance any further forward. We're sort of out of movement. Go on, just squeeze as much out of this as you can. Uh, that livestock farm, how much threat is it realistically under? Go back and kill him. Just in case my ally doesn't do so. Uh, that does sort of remind me a bit of uh, diplomacy. Now we've got Shi Yi. Go see it. War. Call to arms. Shi Huang. Sensor. Confirm. He's already at war with the yellow terms, which is quite nice. Um. Negotiate, war coordination, go, and show Wu as well, negotiate, war coordination. Uh, go on, all of you just gang up on him right there. Anybody else needs it, Liu Jiang does, because we're now... Go on, shift over here, Liu Yao, you're nearby, war coordination, select target. Uh, uh, they're all gonna fall. Go on, just push, push. Wang Lang, yeah, you can push as well. We're just gonna throw all my vassals in that rough area. <clears throat> okay, now, taken Poyang. He's gonna flee. He has a piss weak army. Go on. Let's have a fight. I haven't had a, a decent fight in a while, so I'm gonna gonna have a play with this one. I don't think they have particularly good troops, but uh, apparently it says it's gonna be a pyrrhic victory. So yeah, be interesting at least. Alrighty, let's uh, let's have a look here. <clears throat> Well, well, <sighs> drop them there, drop them there, and drop these guys here. Um, I think we can have this chap sitting up here, pretending he's not really there. They attack it, they attack it, but I'm willing to take that risk. Zhang He and the cavalry, I guess, can be way over here. <clears throat> right, let's go. Yeah. <laughs> You want to fight Xinping? You're welcome. Alright, shoot, 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 shoot. Shame we don't have fire arrows, really. Advance just a touch. Big man, how are we doing? Advance, charge. 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 You keep coming around here. Ooh. They have spears. Oh, they're not properly formed at least. My God, that hurt though. That was a touch of a mistake. Go. 
Go, 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 go. Back this way. Reform over here. Charge. Reform. Everyone here is doing okay. You just move forward. You boys shift forward. You are killing shit, which is what I want to see. Get in there. Right, break that formation, just go. 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 Okay. Um, you guys are going to have to come out of that fight. You guys are going to have to come out of that fight. It's not really working for us. She's not close enough to do any real damage to his ability to do that stuff. These guys rocket crap in there, please. Um, in you go. Charge. Go, 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 go. You lads, charge. You guys, charge over here. Straight through, straight through, straight through. Uh, I told you to fixate on her, please. Go, 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 go. It's pointless making him do a... Everyone run away when they're already running. Um, you can get in there now, though. Excellent job, guys. Reform over here. Kill. How are we doing? You lads, over. And you guys come over here too. You two reform, smash him. That cavalry unit. Go, 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 go. You fixate. Charge. Charge. Yeah. I wish he'd just focus on her, but you know. You're doing alright. Um, cavalry. I think you guys probably better pull yourselves together. You're going to get them. Which is great, which means you can bugger off over here. Deal with that. You do your thing. Right. Blob charge them. You're going to see them off. Over here. Simple, we got this. <clears throat> they're holding firm, but they're surrounded. They're going to die. Uh, right. Swords over here. Cav. Um, do you know what? Not the swords, though. But cavalry and everyone else over here. Uh, if you don't mind, just chase them. You. Mess her up. You guys over here too. Really hard to see what's going on. Um, but just the rapid tiger infantry, which is an interesting thing for them to have as the yellow turbans. Uh, rapid tiger infantry being, you know, a, an official Han Dynasty army unit. Um, once commanded by Yuan Shu. Um... But yeah, slightly odd seeing them in yellow turban armies, but we can just imagine that they uh, are deserters, I guess. You chaps, do you want to go kill? And I'm pretty certain 
It's just the rapid tiger to break. They are going to break. Should have done that earlier. Go help him. Oh, there we go. Not sure why it was a Pyrrhic victory. Look at the kills by the cavalry. Oh my god. You can see why my cavalry are ranked so much higher than my infantry in all of my armies. <laughs> to be honest, I'm not very good at using the infantry. I just sort of set them up and then let the cavalry do all the work. Don't really pay any attention. Ah, oh, the scary lady's back. Uh, I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna kill you. Not because you're a yellow turban, though I would normally kill you because you're a yellow turban, but just because the game will be better off without your bodiless form. Um, right. Yeah, we need to head everyone over this way. Uh, so we're going to advance over here. Um, you guys... Ooh. It's tempting, isn't it? Um, right. Can you... Go on. Nice. What have you, you got? Heavenly Sword. Oh, fantastic. I need more of those, like, commander strategisty type weapons. Um... Can you chase her? You can. Good. Horse as well. I value to steal. Have you got you got wooden ox? Uh, nothing. Well, there we go. Some of you died in vain then. Some of you died to provide my troops with. Well, my officers with better toys. Okay, so we need to have a play with this then. I think... Tian Cho, you have a noble sword, you're alright. You have a brown... Oh, you have, you have a brown. Um... Oh yeah, I forgot about you. You're pretty well off for that stuff as well. Right, so you're, you're all together pretty good. You're all together pretty good. You, I don't like so much. Um, hmm. Go on. Have them. Have them. Uh, over here. Yes. Then. Jashu. You have an incredible sword, I forgot. Uh, Shin you you has a I mean that'd be better with here I know you're old and everything else but yeah take that um right you're all set up there <clears throat> we're all set up here they have produced a ton of armies we're gonna have to we're gonna have to we're gonna have to see what these boys do you might be able to just follow up in support, actually. Yeah, we may just be able to follow up in support. We will see about that. Uh, you, my man. I don't think we need you down there. I think you're more needed up here. So you can start the long shift over. There we go. So we've got more armies congregating over on that flank. Uh, Shu Huang should die. Um, you chaps. It's going to take a long ass time for you to get over there. So we have Lu Dai, uh, Chongxi, whatever. So bye bye. We'll just shift this army over. And you. 
Um, I want Ju Huan as well. Ju Huan Bo Qinyin. And Hong Jun. And to be honest, you as well. Redeploy all of them to Liu Bei's corner of the world. There, very nice. Yu Lin. Have one of these. Spectacular. Next turn. Nope. Well, <clears throat> this is Yang Feng himself with Liu Ji, Liu Bu's daughter. Can Kai's troops are there? So much. Cool. No, not Tian Kai's. They're all my armies. Um, this could be fun. This could be a lot of fun. The Sheldon, he he's potent. Don't know about the rest of them. Shun Wei, I don't know what's in his army at all, but it doesn't seem to be that much of a worry at all. Sun Tzu, yeah, he's potent as well. So she's got some chats with Maracas. Repeating crossbows. They've all got those lovely axes, the Southern Axe guys. Yang Feng has, has, I mean, frankly, a piss weak army that are going to die brutally. So we're going to have to win this. Um. Oh. Interesting. Oh, jazz, come over here. That is. That is not. Not great, actually. Um. I need you up here. Form here. No running. Oh, thank God. Um, I have too many strategists here, though. I'll tell you that for nothing. But we've got some fighters coming up to defend him here. I mean, they need to deploy really bloody quickly, though. Right, lads. Uh, yeah. Oh, shit. The whole army is deploying here. Spectacular news. Um, yeah, you guys shift over here, too. Oh, this is good news. Flaming balls of fire over here. Gong San, your chaps can actually come over here. Our rearranging is going to be fun. Um, I think you chaps can just sit there for now. Just so everyone's out of the way. I want you all in shield wall. Across here, I would like ideally one of you here, and I'd like ideally one of you here. I'm just gonna set up a really quick semi defensive formation. You can duel, you're not dueling, you're not dueling. Um, and you're not dueling. Right, get everyone into position. There, there, right. These chaps can come back here. Uh, as a sort of reserve force of infantry. I 
think you can form here too, which means your big bad can go there, your big bad can go there, it means we're gonna to need to shift the uh, the infantry. So one infantry here and one infantry here. Okay. Okay. And then we have some really good reserves. Uh, sword, axe, axe, right, you can come here, you're here, Kong San has got a wing of cow for there, um, who are you? Lu Gong's got a wing of Cav here. Lu Gong's wing is about to get attacked. We got Cataphracts, Sabre, Peasants. Let's go for them. Form here. Who wants to duel? Sun Tzu wants to duel. He's eight. You hit like a wet fish. Okay. They're committing all of their cav over there. Let's go. Teach them how to fight with cavalry. Also, they're going to throw in extra generals as well. Bring your ass over here, big man. Let's do this. Let's absolutely wreck face. Get the handmade guard. Right. You chaps, I want you here. You. Uh, decline. You bring your ass in there. You too. No running. Go. Go. I want them dead. Right. That's going to be a really bloody fight for a minute. We are not going to want to stay in it forever. So, now it's time to pull back. So what we've done is pretty much hammer their cavalry. Do you know what? I'm not going to duel because I forgot you don't have a decent weapon. Shit. Alright, all of you guys come back now. Come on. Back you come, back you come, back you come. Charge. Cav, out you come. Right, you chaps over here. I mean, basically, all the white horses over here. I don't care so much about the uh, shitty cab that we were using as fodder there. Um, you shift to this flank. I want more axes over here. I think we can have more swords over on this side. This fight is going well. Right, go for her. Gong Sanzan. Flames. And Jong in you go, big man. All the arrows ever seen by anyone ever uh, rushing into people right there. Now what I want is some death and destruction. You, up there. Where's my other? 
Get out. Come on. Stop pissing about. You boys can shift over. Make these axes come over here. Um, focus on Huang Guy. You can also go for Huang Guy. You guys are all fighting. I want flames again. I want. You can't do it fast enough. I want some of this. You need to go there. You need to go there. Shift. Nice of you to show up, Yang Feng. This is your battle. Excellent. Do that, you, that, and that. And you, that. I think we can have a raw. I think we can have one of those. And you, I don't know. Need to get back here or something. Uh, just dig into that fight. Axes are there to support. Go. 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 Everybody charge. Alright, he's almost down. You've got him, you've got him, you've got him. Right, they're bringing their reinforcements out. Here's Bai Ying. He's not going to last. Uh... You shift over here. You stay in them. You just form there then if you're going to be so still complaining and pissy and all the rest. Um, 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 over here. Get rid of them. Flame. Nothing doing. Raw. Charge. Back in this direction, please. There we go. Come on. Charge in there. Let's just finish him off. And then I'd like you all to form up. Over here. Hello? All of you, all the cavalry form up over there, please. You boys can now start to move to the flank. I think you guys can just push straight forward. You're getting into position. We have a reserve cav up there. Go kill. Um, you swing over this. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Kill her. Um, charge. Just crush these cavalry. Overwhelming numbers. Come on. Keep pushing. Keep pushing. You get him. Advance. Go on, just dig in there. How are you? Flames. You're getting wrecked. Alright, back out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Unfortunately, we lost the one unit of cavalry. It's fine. You guys come over here. You are ready and raring. Fong Sanzan, if you want to fall back, don't overstretch yourself. I think it's time we let Yang Fung do a little bit of fighting. Our lines are a tiny bit messed up. You can come back here. I think you can hold there. Um, here. 
You boys come back. My cav all in position? Yes it is. Very nice. So I have a ton of archers which my cav should be able to take apart. Uh, you as well. Go. I think we can advance forward with you. Then over here. Yeah, all of you. Shift here. You. Hmm. Guess move up in support. Fame. Fl ah. Fames. Right, advance over here. Come on, keep pushing. Don't, don't just keep pushing, just charge straight at them. You, get them. Cavalry, over here. Although I admire their tenacity in not running, I do rather think they should give up and run. Uh, you two, kill him. Speed this up. Um, you, kill him. Nice job. Take that tower. So it stops shooting us. That other one's probably going to be burnt down. Very nice. All of you on him then. Go, 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 go. They just have the one unit formed up then. Let's just charge them down. No, they don't. They have these bastards as well. Right. Loose formation. Get them. Very nice. What to say, Yang Feng? You didn't do much. Oh, wow. We wrecked them. That wasn't a close victory, so Gorjar's troops got a bit of a pasting. But, uh... Ah, <sighs> uh, we'll release you, we'll release you. They've been pushed back, so hopefully my vassals can advance now and take that town. I guess if not, I'm going to have to bloody do it. They've moved quite quickly. Ma Tung's armies. Shuhuang is finally surrounded. Just fought a battle against Jiling army, which is probably Liu Biao's weakest army. Because uh, Jiling Yuan Shao, a random. <clears throat> I 
I think. Delegate. Thank you, Liu Yao. But the Yellow Turban's only chance really is to push into Shirley's territory. Because my armies, they just can't beat. They're all falling back, but they can only fall back so far. Because there's enemies all around them, and they just pick the weakest one to try and punch through to escape. New items, fantastic. My guys are ready and can be uh, reformed over here. Um, but ladies and gentlemen, that'll have to wait until next time. I really hope you've enjoyed this. If you have, please feel free to leave a like and subscribe. I look forward to seeing you next time where hopefully we'll finish off. Hello. What on earth happened there? That's interesting. Yeah. Yeah, we'll see what happened next time. Thank you very much for joining me, ladies and gentlemen. See you later. Bye-bye.